Here we go. What's going on, fam? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Basin Mental. Welcome back to the channel. We got another Amalgamite for you today. Amalgamites are basically characters that are taken from two different animes, two different game characters, a real life person and an anime character, or a cartoon character, or a game character, and now combine them to create this whole different character and try to build a story out of it. This will be episode four, and the character we have today for this Amalgamite episode is Emia Strife. So we about to get into it. And if you recognize those two names, they come from two very dope series of games. Let's say anime series. Uh, I will call one the Fate series. Because it's Fate Stay Night, Fate Apocrypha. You can watch those on Netflix. Or, and then you also have Final Fantasy, which is, it's a game. And you can see it on PS4, Xbox, PC, all of that good stuff. It's been around for a very long time. But it's a phenomenal game and it has a lot of good movies too well not a lot of good movies but a couple of them are pretty stupid, pretty pretty dope if i weirdly enough had the idea that it would look really cool if cloud could shoot his buster sword like a bow and now and then after watching the fate stay night series with this particular emmy archer who happened to uh, shoot um lances and uh swords I was like, okay, and now I have to make this character because he can look epic. It would be freaking awesome. And we ran, and I ran with it. He's Cloud and Archer put in the same body, basically. Probably more along the line of Cloud's characteristics in one of the certain route. But he can be very, uh, I want to say very passionate as Archer and Mia. That depends on how you look at the characters, I would say. He has Emia's eyes and uh, Archer ability while Cloud's, uh, like physical abilities and good with swords and all of that stuff. Okay, if he's got these actual abilities, then what else comes with it? So in my mind, an archer is usually good at hunting. He has a natural hunting ability. He has affinity for fighting and battle tactics. This is naturally his thing. Because weirdly enough, he grew up on a farm. Yeah. That's thing. He grew up on a farm. He noticed that things were getting harder and harder for his parents. So he decided to enroll into a military program called Fate Fantasy. Yes, I did do that. Just roll with me, it's, it, that's what came out, okay? A little obvious. So it'll probably change, but for now, it's the Fate State program. In this program, he's basically trained to be a soldier. And if you've seen Final Fantasy, you know where soldier comes from. In this soldier thing, there are seven classes of soldier, ranging from saber, mm -hmm. yeah, you see where I'm going with this, to archer, to lancer, to rider, to caster, to berserker, to assassin. In that order, strongest to weakest. And each class represents a different skill level, or a different amount of power, different, uh, Bunch of other stuff. Just like Fate, the Fate series. Seven, you, you get it, you get it, you get it. I'm pretty sure you get it. Facts. I just realized I got lost. Oh, a lot of the things that determine whether you move up or go below your class is how well you can control Monera as well as your Phantasm. Yes, I took it straight from Fate. Cause it's not really cool to call someone's ability a Phantasm. I think it sounds really cool. It sounds pretty dope. After you complete basic training, which is just grueling testing and fight training and all how well you can control Monero, what your phantasms are, to try and guess what your abilities may be once they uh, enhance them. And then uh, after he completes his basic training, they give the characters a phantasm boost. Phantasm can create any weapon he chooses by sight or by mentality. So he can create a weapon straight out of his brain with whatever materials he wants, and it'll be made out of Monera. Of course it'll solidify actually to you know, be useful in the world, but it comes from his Monera control ability. He can make a blade the size of a buster blade, but make the materials so light that it can be shot like a bow. And then dense enough to withstand sword fighting and everything like that, and if they break he can always make another. You see where I'm going with this? Just like with Archer in the Fate Stay Night, he started combining and 
the archery with the the weapons he was building and created something that they didn't even know how to rank so they just kept him his rank between archer and saber he's up where he's somewhere in there do me a favor y'all if this story is making sense if you like in the story of emia emia strife make sure you hit that like button and you're commenting let me know what you like about the story if you think i should change anything but more importantly dropping some character names y'all Keep, keep my brain challenged. Keep me coming up with new things. You feel me? I need that in my life. One time. For the one time. For the one time. Because I need you to do that for me. One time. And with that one time, be froggy enough to hop on that notification bell. And if not, chill on your lily pad. You feel me? But back to Emmy. Gil Garoth. If you, uh, see where I'm going with this? Gil Garoth. See what I did there? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And destroyed Emia hometown. Like killed his parents, all of that stuff. Then went looking for him. While at the same time, declaring he is his, his going rogue. Because one of the things that the soldier program or the fate fantasy program is about, they're not blatant killers. At least they're not supposed to be. You can't just annihilate anyone for no reason. Huh, that sounds kind of familiar. Strife wants revenge, but then Gilgaroth goes disappearing and goes goes missing. See what I'm getting at? I got a brain, y'all. I got a brain. Strife goes to hunt down Gilgaroth, and Zack is basically telling him, like, young, you're not ready. That's a stupid idea. He goes with him, ends up dead. Now, Emmy is out for revenge. And then at this while wow, all that is happening, Gilgaroth is, has put his plan into place to sort of use the planet as a vehicle to go across the universe and destroy more worlds. But Emiya is looking for Gilgaroth to try and defeat him and then stop him from killing the planet as well as all the people on it. And he also finds out that he was one of the ones to have the Genova gene. I'm gonna leave the rest of this story up but when I finish Gilgaroth, which is me declaring a character I'm gonna make in the future, so you gotta stay tuned for that to find out more about Emmy's story. And there will be a, a written version of this story on my Instagram profile. Is that at basemental underscore art92? Or you can read the story of Emmy. I'm, I'm gonna have it up there. It's gonna be pretty clear. And there's also gonna be another character in between that you haven't met yet. One of Emmy's partners in crime. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy seeing the process. It took forever to make this character. Just the sketches you see in this video aren't the only sketches. This sketch goes back like months, if not years. Mia Strife, Gilgaroth, you kind of get where I'm going with this. Hopefully, if not, you'll figure it out when I, when I make the video. I hope you're enjoying the Morgamite series. I'm gonna keep pushing it for a while. I'm really enjoying this. I really like it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Just do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button and you're commenting some character names, y'all. Keep, keep my brain challenged. Keep me coming up with new things. You feel me? Be froggy enough to hop on that notification bell, and if not, chill on your lily pad, you feel me? For the one time. It's your favorite entrepreneur, Basin Mental, saying to be creative, play your cards, and change your game, all right, fam? And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
Take a second down If you're gonna break a shame 